That one there. Which one? That one. That is well chased. Hello, everyone. Uh, it's nice to see everyone. I'm trying to remember who I've seen in person and who I've seen on Zoom. It all sort of merges into one. I've seen everyone so much. Uh, I was really nervous for this, and now I've watched everyone else's, I'm even more nervous because they've all done a really good job. So we'll see how it goes. So who am I? Uh, I'm Adam. I'm 29. That's uh, my wife-to-be, Debbie, and that's our cockapoo, Lionel. Um, I've had a really good upbringing, really good family life. Um, I was always okay through school and I'd always wanted to join the police. So I went to college and did public services and then joined Staffordshire Police as a special when I was 18 years old, which is when you're 18, it's a bit daunting joining the police, but really enjoyed it. So then joined Nottinghamshire Police when I was 20. Um, when I joined Nottingham, I was living in Cannock, so I had to travel 50 miles each way, but I did it just to get in. I did that for four years, and that's where I met Alex. And then I finally managed to get a transfer to West Midlands Police, and then it's five minutes to work, and that's why I'm not moving anywhere else. <laughs> um, I'm happy there. Um, I've already mentioned them, I've skipped ahead. Um, so then we get to business. So I've always, been a bit of a Dell boy, or tried to be. <laughs> um, I've tried everything. I've, I think I've tried everything that comes up when you type in how to make more money on YouTube. <laughs> uh, literally everything I've tried to sell. It's ridiculous. Um, that's the next slide. The failures. So I tried sell st selling stuff on eBay. Uh, literally, Debbie's been a saint. There's been times where our house has been full with used board games. Like full to the brim, like we had loads of Cluedos, every version of Monopoly, we knew all the good ones to get. Uh, Amazon FBA, that was similar, but we just sent it to them so it didn't clutter the house, you preferred that one. Uh, I've tried to set up a cash for clothes. There's some more funny stories about that, but I don't think they're, they're right. Uh, but the plan was to buy clothes for cash and then sell them on eBay, but that didn't really go anywhere. Branded key rings, that was my other one. There's loads more of them that I could fit on this slide. Uh, converting VHSs to DVDs. I spent more money on the wire than I actually made doing it. I basically converted my mum's wedding video, and that was it. And that, that was that business. But I made a nice logo. Uh, and there were, there were loads more, literally. Uh, tons. She was always going, oh, what are you doing now? So I just sort of sorting it out. Um, so why? Why did I want to go into business? Um, I enjoyed the police, I still do. Um, it's an exciting job. It's better than accounts that I did before. It is fun. Um, I get all the stresses and everything else, but ultimately it is a fun job. Um, I can see it having a, a time that to leave eventually, but I do enjoy it. But you are capped with the, the income with the police. And obviously, we know inflation's going up and police wages aren't. So that wage that was quite good is just going lower and lower and lower. Um, so that was one. I don't want to go for promotion particularly. Um, I enjoy my role. Um, and I don't think all the hoops you have to jump through are worth the £5,000 difference, personally. Um, I love holidays. Like I said, I was really lucky growing up. I went on lots of holidays. Um, and then I turned 18 and then realised, oh, I have to pay for holidays now. <laughs> So I went from having like four or five abroad holidays a year, thinking it was the normal to be in South Africa at Christmas, to, oh, should, should can we afford Devon, maybe? <laughs> um, and just the nice things in life, it, it, being able to afford things with, rather than getting to the end of the month and thinking, have we got enough for whatever we need? Um, so the wise. I think we're having a freeze up. Oh no, right, the journey. Alexander Siri. <laughs> so, I met Alex when he was working at Nottingham at the Bridewell as a detention officer. And I, th I, th I say it was his friend. I locked someone up that he knew, <laughs> probably an acquaintance. <laughs> and they started chatting, and uh, he was say, uh, saying to Alex, What do you do? And I said, I oh, invest in property. Um, and I'd always, like, you know, it was probably one of the many other schemes I wanted to get involved in. <laughs> Debbie, we've started a property business. So, I was asking him about it and he was like, oh yeah, if you're interested, read these books. And he said, property magic and uh, 
rich dad, poor dad. So I went away and because I had that huge commute, I just got audible on my phone and I listened to them on the way home. And I'd, I'd done both within a week because I was driving for hours a day. Um, so every time I come back to custody and I saw Alex, I'd be like, what next? <laughs> go on, go on, I've got three credits. Uh, and every time, he, and then we'd, we'd come back, it was like a little book club we had. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was quite good. Um, and he didn't have shift success then, but I, he was still then sort of giving out information, helping people. Um, and I used to always, when I saw him, I always come away starting another business idea probably. So have you been speaking to that guy in custody again? <laughs> uh, um, reading, I've touched on that. I just started reading loads. My audible time, it's like a real challenge to me. I just want to keep getting it up. Every time I see someone who's got audible, I'm like, what's your total reading time? Like, <laughs> is it, I've, I've got some good numbers now. Um, cohort three, uh, join Shift Success. I initially went on the quick start. No, I met Alex in a hotel room. Not a room, <laughs> not a room, not a room. <laughs> lobby, lobby, <laughs> lobby. Uh, met in a hotel lobby before the quick start day, and I really wanted to do it. I went saying I really want to sign up in my uh, mind. <laughs> Um, but then the price, I hadn't really thought about financing stuff before. I just sort of paid for stuff when I had enough. And when I heard the price, I was like, oh, I can't afford it. And I'd gone really wanting to sign up. Um, so I left it for a bit. And then when the quick start day has come up, joined, loved the quick start day. And I was like, I really want to do it. But I left it longer because I didn't have three grand. <laughs> um, and then I, no, oh, sorry, I've backtracked. Before that, I got a car, because I crashed my other one. Oh, I didn't. I went drove through a puddle or something. Um, so I borrowed extra on the car loan, and I just said I'll get an extra 3000 and pay for it. So joined, and I haven't looked back. Um, initially, I was going to do graphic design. That was my plan. Um, and then I was speaking to Cy Fraser on the course, and he said, oh, I need help with the website. Can you help with that? Um, so I said, yeah, I'll give it a go. I built one when I was 10. Uh, I, did, I did, it's all changed since then unfortunately, um, so I give that a go, all went well and it just, everyone else started coming to me and it spiralled into that and I've really enjoyed it, kept going, um, I've come across every possible technical problem you can have on a computer, it's a nightmare but finally got there and we went with websites and that's founded Accountable Marketing. Um, we create stunning websites that get results. Uh, so that's how it come about. Initially, I was going to niche in accounts. I've done two accountancy practices. Uh, the rest have been, I'm more of a, do a dog grooming specialist now, <laughs> thanks to Bill. I, I've done everything. I, I, I was glad when I got an account so I could justify the name. Um, so the wins so far, uh, we won a business award earlier in the year. Uh, the Thin Blue Line charity, they put something out, they got loads of followers that they needed a new website and I won that contract. That was really nervous because I was that's the first big sort of website I've done. And he went for it and he absolutely loves the website. So I was really happy about that one. Um, and I host that free and stuff like that to do a bit for the charity. I only added this up when I was doing this, but £27,000 over the moon with that. I made £27 off the board games. I was <laughs> getting there. Uh, first employee, I've hired Debbie, I've dragged her into it. Uh, uh, it's the, the only chance I get to be the boss in our house. Uh, best month in August, I got 2800 I couldn't believe it when I seen that. I was like, police, police can go now. I didn't quite get it, I didn't get that brave. Uh, I've had over 35 clients when I totaled it up. Um, probably more, that was all the ones I could find in the list. Um, £400 monthly, so even if I didn't make a website again, um, I get £400 coming in. <laughs> so there's all my holidays sorted now. Um, yeah, that's that one. How have things changed? So we've gone on lots more holidays. Uh, we did, we've managed to do really well in, that was all during coronavirus, we managed to do that. <laughs> uh, proposed to Debbie. It's all brilliant now, all brilliant. We're getting married next year. Got postponed, but we can do everything we need to. 
more excitement that comes with the holidays, uh, more freedom, we don't have to worry about what we've got left at the end of the month, uh, go out for meals too much, things like that. Um, just a better lifestyle in general. Um, still enjoy the police, although business is my focus now, I really enjoy it as well. My top tips, don't procrastinate. If you do something, it's better than thinking over and over again, or oh, should I do this, should I do that? Just put something out there. If people don't like it, then they won't buy it. If people do like it, then they'll, they'll, they'll come and have it, and then you can just develop it as you go along. Worded better than that, though. So, <laughs> um, Follow the process. Uh, the results speak for themselves. The mentors are mentors for a reason. They know what they're doing. All the people who've just been up before me, their, their results speak for themselves. Um, plan your time without Google Calendar. I wouldn't know I would have to be here tonight. That was a joke. <laughs> when I was writing, I thought, that'd be funny. Uh, <laughs> when you have to read it out, it doesn't sound as good. Uh, no, seriously, blocking time has been brilliant with all the shifts and things like that. Planning when you've got meetings. Uh, doing little and often tends to work for me rather than blocking out a whole day. Um, and then we got sales are motivating. Um, there's never a day when you think, I really want to work, but if you get a sale, then you jump on the computer and you're straight at it. It, it does lift you up and make you want to do more. <laughs> and thank yous, I've put a load of logos I could find of a load of the customers I've had. Some of them are here. Um, and we got Debbie, thank you for putting up with the board games, everything else. <laughs> Sometimes we want to go out and I'm saying, no, I'm doing websites now uh, and helping me out as well and becoming uh, my first employee. Uh, Co-op Free, thank you. It was brilliant going in those days in Birmingham having Nando's every month. Uh, no, seriously, the group in general, it's been brilliant. Got not just what I've asked people, but everyone else who asks questions and getting the, listening to the, reading the advice that they're given, that's helped me a lot. Uh, Bill Betts, we just joked that I, I should say thank you to him, but seriously, he, he's, literally, he's, he's probably helped someone in here, everyone in here. He's, uh, he's brilliant in the group and he has sent so much work my way. Lots of dog groomers all around the country are messaging me daily. Um, Alex Siri, thank you. Thank you for what you're doing here. We've success. It's brilliant. We're, uh, yeah. It's brilliant, really. Is.